Maga Senator Silva Mtetwa, the colleague Abem Kalipi, the distinguished uh, panelists. We are born at a party definitely. Looks like <laughs> there is more degrees than what a thermometer has. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, nonetheless, um, uh, Honorable Minister, I think the youth of today are much luckier than us. We never had such facilities as Careers Expo. I remember <clears throat> my passion was to become a motor mechanic. For a very long time, I was a mechanic because there was this guy he used to fix cars together with his sons and they always had money so i thought to myself could see the only way to have money all the time is to become a motor mechanic until um, one career expert set me down and that career expert was my grandmother she asked me what i want to do in life and i told her exactly my dreams of becoming a motor mechanic that dream ended in five minutes of our conversation. <laughs> and then I began to realize that there's more to it. And not that motor mechanic is a bad thing. It's a, a fine thing. It's nice. I love it even now. If I could retire, I would consider it as a career. But I, I think it's very, very important to be guided professionally on what you have to do, what you are capable of. Don't just do a, a course because you see somebody being successful having done that course. I remember at some stage, the law profession had a lot of rewards. Everybody wished he could be a lawyer, uh, uh, not minister. Other lawyers out there, not <laughs> But then after some time, you began to see that uh, it looks like now we are having more lawyers than criminals. But then already, that industry was saturated, the same as in teaching. Um, people like teaching because the assumption is that a job is guaranteed. That's not the case anymore. So as uh, learners pick their courses, they should understand that they pick a career where the ball will be, not where the ball has been already, because it will never go back there again. So that is the futuristic perception that um, uh, young people have to, uh, have to consider as they choose perceptions. Uh, before I digress, Honorable Minister, I was spent, sent specifically by the Honorable Minister. She sent her apologies. She's not feeling very well. So she gave me this speech. She, she said, I must read this speech word for word. What I've been saying all along is what I'm personally thinking. But now I am reading what I've been instructed to read. The Honorable Minister's speech, if she was here, would have gone as follows. Good morning to you all. May I first take the opportunity to congratulate the Minister of Labor and Social Security for the launch of this historic milestone, the Career Expo 2021, which is aimed at assisting our learners to unearth their careers so as to make the right choices for their future. If you know the possibilities are out there, it is indeed the first step to think deeply about the career option that you can take. This will give the learners the opportunity to study in depth what their career in entails and where they can best access training towards that qualification. I am happy that we have successfully collaborated with the Minister of Labor and Social Security in this regard. I'm happy especially because this career expo is not only meant for learners in the urban areas, but means have been made to reach learners in the most rural areas of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a talent out there that is awaiting to be tapped into. I have no doubt that this career expo will indeed touch the right button in the learners to set the young brains in motion for the right career choices. This innovation will definitely enhance the envisaged improvement of our country's um, economy through the right and relevant information about what is available. For that, I'm grateful to our institutions who have agreed to participate and the work industries who have joined hands with us today. We are all aware that the country is currently fighting to rise from the fiscal economic meltdown, which is affecting everyone equally. A good number of our youth, which forms 77% of the country's population, is without jobs and therefore are not effectively contributing to the economic stability of the country. The focus of this career expo is to empower our young people with knowledge 
of which careers are major suppliers of workforce in order to be able to think carefully about the jobs that are available and therefore the right career pathways to embark on. <clears throat> it is with great pleasure and satisfaction that I therefore stand before you today with the Honorable Minister for Labor and Social Security to welcome this new career expo, which I am reliably informed is the first but definitely not the last. I would therefore like to invite all learners, the ones who are already out of school and those still in classes from four and five, to take time to join the Career Expo, to learn from this experience so that they can, expo can, they can be exposed to what is available in order to make the right choices as they prepare to exit secondary school, uh, secondary education, and those already out of school to reconfigure their choices. To all learners, we are very lucky to have this opportunity. To reiterate the theme of the Career Expo. If you can ask other people, they will tell you that they would have made better choices had they been exposed to this opportunity. With this few, with this few words, I thank you for listening. Pela lapo espisa minister ngangeti luto ang siya bolong.